March. About 60% of people in Black Hawk County say they'll get the COVID-19 vaccine once it becomes available. The County Health Department collected this data over about six weeks from more than 6,700 respondents. KWWL's Taylor Vessel breaks these numbers down tonight. Now this data set is what resulted from six weeks worth of surveying in Black Hawk County by the County Health Department. 37% or so of folks are either unsure or say they would not get the COVID-19 vaccine. They're to the right of this bar graph. Now to the left are those who said that they definitely would, but look at this curve down and then a slight uptick for those who would definitely not get the vaccine. Now this trend, this curve is something that appears in several of the graphs throughout that report. Again, this one, how likely you would be to recommend the COVID-19 vaccine to another. Same sort of downward slope and then slight uptick there for those who would definitely not. This carries over as well into this graph asking if you would get the vaccine if it was offered by your employer. 33.6% said they definitely would if it was offered by their employer. Now this next part is what really drew the board's attention because that number goes up if it was offered by a healthcare provider instead, which to the board kind of showed that folks were really trusting and rather more interested in getting it from their healthcare provider compared to maybe the county health department, a pharmacy, or their employer. These four different colors represent that. So health healthcare provider, health department, employer, pharmacy in the light blue sort of downward trend there and it kind of changes in those other directions. Now they also asked folks that really important question, why would they be hesitant to get the vaccine? Now overall, vaccine safety was the top response at 44%. That was the top concern for folks who responded to the survey. Now folks thought it was done too fast, they want more information on it, or they're concerned if it could have long-term side effects. In studio, Taylor Vessel, News 7, K W W L. And of course, there are still a lot of questions out there, and we try to answer some of those concerns once again on our website.